Now we're in Bath today, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, and not to see things like the Royal Crescent, which is just in front, which you might know off of Bridgerton or the Count of Monte Cristo, but to find something hidden up by a golf course, about two miles behind us. But since we're here anyway, let's go and have a look through the beautiful city of Bath. has to be the nicest Primark storefront I think I've ever seen. but just in the shadow of Bath Abbey is this lovely little place called Abbey Green. Tree in the middle, a little square with a few shops around it. I thought I'd take a wander down to see what's down here. The Abbey really dominates this older part of Bath, although it was only itself built in the late 18th century, I think. At least rebuilt. Um, it was rebuilt again in the 40s to the 60s to, to bring it to the spec it is today. But a church has existed on that site for nearly 1500 years, since the 700s. make me so far today on this little trip is no matter what side street you go down all the houses are magnificent they look like this maybe not as big definitely in the same style this is another one of the beautiful green spaces in Bath and there are plenty of them but this is Henrietta Park it was built in 1897 to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria and there's an awful lot of stuff in Bath that commemorates Queen Victoria. I'll have to remember when we get back to Victoria Park where we started because there is another tidbit I forgot to mention but I guess Bath its history goes back a very very long time but it sort of exploded in the 18th century into the 19th century just about time Victoria was coming both to the throne um, but also but for her reign. But even Henrietta Park is not the reason we're here, nor are the fantastic buildings we've seen, such as the Abbey. Uh, the reason we're here, we're, we're pretty much halfway there now. I just need to find my way, but the golf course... Um, I think is this way. Uh, the golf course sort of marks the spot. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. But it's not the golf course we're here to see, don't don't worry. And as to be expected, it wasn't that way. It was literally the opposite direction, so we need to be going this way, not that way. 
towards Bath Locks. I tell you what, although beautiful, Bath really is just a series of steep hills separated only by beautiful architecture. But as I'm walking up this road here, is this road or that road? Well, as I stop here to work out where the heck I'm going, the story I was going to tell you in Henrietta Park, which I didn't, was that Queen Victoria visited here when she was 11, before she was Queen, and opened Victoria Park, which is where was um, houses in Royal Crescent live. But apparently, someone said that she had rather large ankles, and so she never returned to Bath, even though many of the parks are named after or for her. Okay, so I did miss my road, but biggest clue of the day to where we're going. In fact, not just a clue, it is a literal sign to where we're going. I'm not a very good quiz master, so hopefully everybody can work out what it is we're in Bath to now see. I need a break, but one good thing about climbing this hill is the view. Bath is absolutely stunning, even from a distance. Hopefully we'll get a better view from, well, Sham Castle. This pathway is getting narrower and steeper the further I go, but we're very nearly there. I think about five minutes away now, which is good because I don't think I could do much more than five more minutes uphill. And it means the rest of the way will be back down. In the late 17th and 18th century, the fashion of the time was to own big man houses or a castle somewhere. But castles. Castles are very limited in supply. They're not building them much anymore. So if they're not building them much anymore, what do you do? Well, you build your own. It's, it's Sham Castle. It's a folly built in the 18th century, I think, and then um, restored in the early 1920s. And it's just a facade. It's a folly, as they used to call them. It's what rich people used to build on their land to attract friends to come and visit them. And it's also now home to a golf course, which is kind of cool. And that's the reason we came, to see a fake castle in Bath. Well, not really fake, it's real. It does exist. It's just that's all there is to it. But I'll show you what I mean by it being just a facade as I slip down the hill. That's the front of the castle. Looks nice and impressive. And that's the back of the castle, looking almost exactly as impressive as the front, because, well, there's not much else to it. And it's not that it's fallen down and been lost to time. It simply never existed. So this is Sham Castle in Bath.